So after recently watching Chris Weedman, the former champ, get punched in the face non-stop for about 45 seconds, I figured, hey, it might be a good idea to teach you guys how to escape from full mount so that you don't get punched in the face for 45 seconds. And on top of that, I'll teach you how to move from this escape immediately into a knee and ankle shredding leg lock that will tear your opponent's joints to pieces, and also end the fight instantaneously. You go from a bad position to victory in 1.45 seconds according to my stopwatch. Now this video is actually the first in a series of videos on leg locks, which are some of the most disgusting self-defense moves in all of martial arts. Watch all four videos and you'll be Steven Seagal level dangerous. Old school Seagal, of course. Now in video number two, I'm gonna introduce you to one of my coaches and he's gonna show you how you can end a fight in five seconds or less from your feet by snapping your opponent's leg, which will surprise the crap out of everybody. Surprise! You got no legs. Now in video number three, we're gonna talk about inescapability and some little secret modifications you can make to your leg locks, which will prevent anybody from getting out of them. Even black belts in jujitsu won't be able to escape. So basically, uh, nobody will be safe from your diabolical clutches. And in video number four, I'll mostly make fun of you and try to sell you things. <laughs> it's a good one. Let's start by escaping your opponent's full mount, which is not this awesome. Stay focused. Stay focused. Now this has nothing to do with the move that I'm gonna show you today, but if somebody's on top of you, punching you in the face repeatedly, at the very least, put your elbows in front of the guy's thighs and bump your hips. Now you can see Deontay had to put his hands on the mat instead of punching me in the face to catch himself. That allowed me to reach up, tie him in tight, and at least delay. Now of course I still have to escape from here and we're not going to escape from here today, but maybe I can kind of hold the guy in here for long enough for one of my friends to kick him in the face. <laughs> now if your violent friends are unavailable, you're gonna have to escape yourself, so let's get to it. All right, to execute this escape today, you're gonna need a movement called a scoot or a shrimp, so I'm gonna show you that very quickly. From your back, one of your feet is going to drive into the ground, pushing you onto the other hip. Okay, and while you push on your hip, you're actually going to slide your hips back and away from the kind of direction you're pushing here. Now, of course, you need to do this with somebody on top of you, so it'll help if you do it maybe a little bit more <laughs> explosively. So you can call this uh, perhaps a power scoot or a jumbo shrimp. <laughs> hey, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go ahead and pause this video for a second and shrimp around on your floor. And if your floor is disgusting, clean it so you can practice, you filthy animal. All right, so let's escape from Mount and tear our opponent's leg to shreds. I'm gonna do that by scooting two times in this direction, away from the camera, while also blasting Deontay in the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna straight up chest palm, palm chest. That doesn't make any sense. Gut check. Gut check. That sounds cool, I think. I like that. Yeah. Let's try it out. I'm going to scoot my right foot away from you guys while also gut checking D in the chest as hard as I can. Now I'm actually going to scoot twice while I do this off of my right foot. So it'll look like this. One, two. Okay? Now I do this because typically with one scoot, it's just not quite enough to get where I want. One scoot, D still got balance. Two scoots, now all of a sudden that leg really comes out. And again, I'm pushing him this way to take his weight which, that was previously on this knee uh, over to the other side. Scooting twice also makes it really easy for me to get my elbow inside Deontay's leg. That's essential for making space for my knee to shoot through, which is the next step. Spoiler alert, I guess. Now from this position where I've scooted twice, I need to trap Deontay's leg and make sure he does not get it back. Now in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is to slide my bottom leg knee in up between his legs whoop, and shoot that into him right there. Now I have a shin to push into him to keep him back there. Now my other leg, my foot, is going to clamp up on his hip violently. And now I have two things to push into him in case he gets any bright ideas and decides he wants to punch me in the face. Of course, I'm trapping all this in tight, pushing my armpit on his foot. Now all I have to do is finish this heel hook. Let no one off the hook, pun intended. Now even if you already know how to throw a heel hook, I have some tricks and secrets that'll make this move as disgusting and devastating as it can possibly be. However, these secrets are too secretive for YouTube. So you have to go to howtofightnow.com forward slash whatever in order to get them, or you can click that link or the link in the video description box and you'll be sent to the moves at no cost to you because they're free. So 
quit complaining silently and just check out the website. Enjoy this free brutality and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the other side. Yeah.